Hello, good morning, happy Wednesday, hashtag Wednesday Wisdom. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget to drop me in a like down below for two reasons. Firstly, because it's Wednesday, and secondly, because I have hat hair, because I've been out this morning doing our 9.45 a.m. Uh, boot camp down at Queen's Park. Our new daytime sessions are live. Uh, so if that's something that floats your boat, don't forget you can get involved by commenting below in six weeks or booking a call with our team uh, down below, either Harvard or Sutton Colford locations, ladies. Our next six-week transformation starts next week. Speaking of all of that, I'll talk about how to win the Hunger Games. Um, now, there's a reason why famine is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, because basically, human beings are not very good with hunger. Now, I, I, I've, I've mentioned this before, something called the Magic 1200, which is where uh, we go on a diet and it gives everybody the same amount of calories, which is this 1200 figure. Now, the problem with that is it's not enough for most people, granted, unless you're about 10 stone. Um, and... The issue is for a lot of people is they exercise more and then start going on a diet where they have to eat a, a, a lot less. And obviously by exercising more, you work up an appetite, you're hungrier. So it kind of works against each other and it's kind of counterintuitive, which is a bit of a problem. Um, now, the problem as well, another problem, which has just been brought to my attention while I was just around in the supermarket, was that the, the Easter stuff is already out. So it's the 12th of January. Everybody's still fat from Christmas. And the Easter chocolate is by the checkout. So seriously, what chance have we got? It's cold. It's it's a miserable month. Um, you know, a lot of people are skint and still sort of reading after Christmas. And you're feeling a bit down. And then you stood at the checkout and there's a load of chocolate there. What chance have we got? Now, I, I don't know about you, but I don't know when Easter is this year, funny enough. But, but it's January the 12th. So what does that tell us? Well, food is everywhere. So when I first started losing weight in 2005, it wasn't as bad as it is now. Uh, food was still everywhere, but not like it is now. I mean, food is just everywhere. We're bombarded with fast food adverts. You know, it's easy to get food. You know, like I just said in the supermarkets, you really are on hiding to nothing. It's really, really very challenging. So what do you do? Well, the... <laughs> I think if you've been around the, the sort of houses on diets and things like that, I think the time to go on a more flexible and, and adaptable approach is now, really. It's very hard to cut out complete food groups. It's very hard to restrict yourself too much, particularly when you're busy, when you've got things on, when you're trying to manage whatever's going on. It's very hard to do that. Um, so it's much better to have an understanding of nutrition, how it links into exercise, how it links into movement, um, you know, then just go on these diets where you're just going to be hungry, especially like just then. If you were on a diet, you were hungry, a bit pissed off, you walked into that shop, you're waiting at the checkout, and there are six metric ton of chocolate eggs stood there in front of you. It's very, very hard to, to sort of maintain your demeanour because you're only human at the end of the day, and instinct is if you're hungry to eat. And once you get, and the problem is as well with that, once you have one, you're more likely to open the floodgates and eat a load. So um, it's not the best way to play the game. A better way to play the game, like I said, is to have a clear understanding of how you, you can eat. You can still eat what you want to a certain degree, but you've got to have that flexibility and you've got to understand the system. Yes, some sacrifice is needed, but it's the level of sacrifice we want to implement there and how we help you do that. So if you want ladies' details on our six-week transformation program where we will show you with our extensive experience how you can do that and how you can understand the key principles around nutrition for weight loss and also nutrition for health so you can get quick results, but you don't have to give up everything that you like. Uh, it, it, it is possible, I promise you. All you need to do, comment below six weeks, send us a direct message, or you can click in the link in the description down below uh, and you can book a call with our team. We'll have a chat. Our next six-week transformation starts on the 17th. Don't forget to drop us a like and a comment before you go or a little share. I'd appreciate it. Happy Wednesday. Hat hair. Let's go.